Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Skitty Fishing. And today I am here at the wonderful and fabulous Strawberry Reservoir. And uh, if you know me and you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm always gonna be here around October and November. I usually try to pay Strawberry about four to five visits per year, but the fall months are my favorite. It is late October as of right now. And uh, I have timed this almost perfectly with a really big cold front because we just got some snow actually up here in the mountains maybe three days ago. I mean, most of it's melted and I think it's gonna pick back up again. Uh, today, I'm gonna be fishing two rods. Um, they're both the same rod, just different weights, but this is the Nirvana Moksha six weight. I already have the five weight, but the six weight is uh, pretty much my designated streamer rod right now. And I've got it paired with a Lamson uh, liquid fly reel, which I love these. These are my favorite reels. And I've got the Moonlit Fly Fishing uh, Intermediate S3 uh, line. So I think the Intermediate line pairs well with uh, streamer fishing. But um, I think uh, S3 is about an inch and a half to two and a half inches per second. We will see if we can catch some fish. It's always a hopeful for cuts here, um, especially big fall, uh, big fall cutthroat. So anyway, with that being said, let's see what we can catch. All right, well, as of the point in time of this clip, I've actually been fishing Haas Point on the other side of the lake for about two hours, nothing. No bites, no bumps, nada. Could be my fly choice, but uh, after swapping through a handful of different flies, I've decided the chance at changing spots rather than continuing to change flies so let's hope we get something even if it's just one at this point okay. all right First fish on the streamer. Come on. He's I think it's a cutthroat because it's like not fighting at all. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Keep them tight. There we go. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so glad I made the swap. Screw you, Haas Point. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean it's not big, but I'll take it, bro, to avoid the skunk. And it's a rainbow, a really poor fighting rainbow. Who would have thought, huh? Look at that, guys. Ah, oh, finally. It's been like three hours, but whatever. It's on the Moksha six weight. Didn't feel like a very big fish, likely due to the nature of the six weight. <laughs> okay, hands were wet, dipping into the water to grab the fish, but there we go, guys. Beautiful little rainbow, nothing super intense. I apologize in advance over the semi trucks and stuff like it's just such a busy highway right here and it's kind of why there's probably not a lot of people here right now no solitude rod's fun i haven't really i mean that fish was probably an admirable 13 13 inches so i mean i'd recommend fish bigger than that for this rod based on the first impression but be nice if I could catch a few more to get a better first impression. And now if I could say something. Is that I need you to eat this fly. It's kind of just small strips. Almost like you're jigging it.
Oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, much better, much better fish this time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude. Oh, we came to the right place, boys. Not a big fight now. I always assume it's a cutty. I feel like I say this in every strawberry video I make, but. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, dude, that's a, I think it's a cutty. Hard to tell. I'm grateful either way. Got the Eventic net today, by the way. Big fan of this net. So far where I've caught two in a short period of time, I think I'm gonna reel in this indicator line and. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a big cutty. <laughs> yes, dude. Egg sucking leech. I'll show you the fly here as long as I don't lose it. Oh, yeah. Just a good fighting fish. Yep, see right there on his mouth. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, yes! Oh, mama! Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. It was way bigger than I thought. Way bigger. Alright, let me get this other line in. Well, I had to pop off the flow tube here so I could show you this, but we got ourselves a mighty fine cut right here. So I'm gonna put him about, let's see. He's about 19 or 20 inches. Well, look at that guys, just beautiful fish. Just gonna hold her here until she's ready. Yep, she's already swimming out. There she goes. You can see her swimming off, swimming off strong. Oh man, that was exhausting. Whew. So I'm hoping I can get this on camera, but here's my egg sucking, egg sucking leech pattern. Bought this from Fly Fish Food. They're about maybe three dollars a fly, but. That was what I chose with today's overcast, but I don't know if it's gonna be the strong fly now, cause I mean, the weather has like really calmed down and I actually don't love that. Got one. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go, bro. Yes. Another good one. It's bigger than 13, I'm guessing. And it's a rainbow. Oh yeah, the fighting butt is working great right now because I've actually got it leveraged on my forearm. Probably should have done that the first time. That would have been nice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Big bow. Come on. And you're done. <laughs> nice. Okay, that one didn't take nearly as long, but I'm grateful for that. 
the same time. There we go. It's a good bow. I'll take it. Zero complaints now. I am loving this overcast right now, guys. This is perfect. Even with the near glass. It's what we want. Gotcha. Yeah, I felt that bump. And then he didn't take it, so I slowed it down a little bit. And he came for it. Rainbow. What I tell you, man. Mostly rainbows right here. And just like that, he is already out. There you go, guys. Beep. like a storm's moving in almost. Got one. Got one. This one feels good. This one feels really good. This one feels like a cutthroat. If I can have the audacity to call it out before I see it. hate it when they swim towards me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's cutty. It's like it's like they don't fight until you're just so close to getting them and then they're like, you know what? That's another good one. Look at that, guys. Sheesh. Take the gloves off now, the wool gloves. Sheesh. Man, <laughs> what a day, guys. Loving this. This is a good fish. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's a big cutty. Damn, bro. Damn. Sheesh, bro. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good eat. That was awesome. Nah, <laughs> just trying to revive this guy. This one took me a while to bring in. 
I'm trying. I think this guy is not going to make it, guys. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yep, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There he goes. Okay, all right, he's flipped up now. Jeez. Man, that one took a while to revive. It took me a while to get my fly out of his mouth. Not my proudest moment, but definitely not my worst either. Well guys, that's gonna complete this video this round. So another decent day at the Berry. I mean, it wasn't like the most amazing day ever, but uh, man, I, I feel like I did put in the work though. I went over to Haas Point today. That was the first time I've ever fished that, that area of strawberry. In fact, that's the furthest east I've ever been. And uh, nothing, no bumps, nothing. Uh, about a billion bank fishermen. I come over to Chicken Creek East and there's nobody and so I, I jump in the water and sure enough we start hooking into some fish on the, the nirvana moksha rod so um all fish today were caught on the six weight nothing on the five weight version of the same rod uh though i did have takes i just didn't have the rod in my hand i saw the bobber go down or the indicator and uh you know i mean at the end of the day indicator fishing isn't nearly as fun as um as uh, you know, streamers and you know, basically anything that's not under an indicator. But I really can't complain. I mean, I got like a handful of really big cutthroat. I mean, I think the biggest being probably 19, 19 and a half. Uh, and then I got one that was 17, 18. I got a handful of good bows. I mean, overall, man, I just, I really can't complain. Uh, but after Chicken Creek, I went over to the Soldier Creek side and I got nothing. So uh, seems like a lot of bays are fishing kind of poorly today. Uh, but there's something going on in Chicken Creek East, so whatever. Uh, more power to you. Beautiful day, guys. Weather is kicking up here. Um, what's weird is that it was kind of like riffly. It was never really turbulent and, and windy, which was really nice. Just enough to kick up the, the top surface and and uh, kind of keep them hungry and stuff. But uh, big, big fan of the Moksha rod. Uh, I don't know if it's the best six weight. Um, I, I kind of feel like I want to test a few and kind of see how I how I feel about them um and I think what that stems down to is the moderate fast action I think maybe a streamer rod's a little bit better for the fast action I think it's just a a hair slow but it's definitely not soft it's just moderate fast so perhaps that's the only thing I think I would ask differently for this rod uh but the lamps and reel worked out great uh the moonlit s3 uh intermediate line worked pretty good and other than that I'm freezing my butt off so I'm gonna go home you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for tuning in to the Skitty Fishing channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, that leech was pretty much the only thing that they were smacking all day and um, no complaints. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Tight lines, everyone.